Vienna Instruments is what's used to host the Epic Orchestra library. And Vienna Instruments can be run either in standalone mode, as we see it here on the screen, or as a plugin within a DAW, or it can be hosted within Vienna Ensemble Pro. For now, we'll look at the standalone version. We have some preferences over here, and as with any standalone audio app, we need to set the audio and MIDI information. So here in the audio section, choose which of your core audio drivers you want it to work with, and all your various MIDI inputs can be selectively enabled or disabled here, and channels for the output on your audio interface, if it's a multi-output interface, can be set there. Now, let's start talking about the basic architecture of how Vienna instruments work. We have the patch, and that's the smallest unit. It's basically an articulation unit, and we see over here in the patch list, when I click this open, the specific patches. So staccato, sustained, sustained with a fast attack, sforzando, tremolo, pizzicato, those are all patches pertaining to the strings in the Epic Orchestra, the smallest unit. Now we use what's called a matrix to combine and manage patches. So in one instrument instance, we want to be able to trigger several patches, and we do that in the matrix. Now the matrix, which is used to combine and manage these patches, is a two-dimensional array of cells, and patches are stored in them. This is the matrix here, and we click hold on the bottom, and we can drag it open to create the matrix in both horizontal and vertical aspects. And there can be up to 144, 12 by 12, 12 across and 12 up and down. There can be up to 144 cells within a matrix. So the idea is that we load a patch into a matrix cell, and these cells then can be called up in various ways, which we're going to look at. So we have the patches, which are the basic articulations, and those are loaded into cells within a matrix. And then we can have multiple matrices within a preset. So these are the patches. Here we have matrices. We can store and load and recall several matrices. And we can have several of these. This is the matrix list over here. Several of these stored in what we refer to as a preset, which basically allows you to combine multiple, up to 12 matrices, and then activate them via key switches. So before we start loading in and building one up, let's just look at the interface overall. We have two views. We have advanced view and basic view. I'm going to stick with basic view for now. We have the browser over here. We browse patches, matrices, and presets. And then we have the matrix control section over here, which allows us to move through the matrix. We have the real-time controller section at the bottom here, where we can assign controllers for various functions. And we have right-click menus for copying, pasting, cutting, and it's available in the controller section as well as in the matrix area and in the matrix list even. We can copy, paste, and cut. Now we also have the matrix list over here, as I mentioned earlier, and that manages the multiple matrices that may exist within a preset. And then we have preset information over here. And here we have patch information, so when I select a patch, it'll display information about it at the bottom. So let's start by taking this staccato patch and dragging it into this first matrix cell. So there it is, we see the name there, and we see the keyboard here showing the playable range, and it's a wide range, all those white notes, and I can play it from my keyboard now. And we have some shaded areas over here. We have the red AB key switches here, and they're labeled in red, and that's sort of permanently there, and we'll look at that separately. But once we have one of these cells, we can then drag it out and add another one in. So let's take the sustained articulation and drag that into the second cell. And I can play that now. Or I can click here and play the staccato one. And you'll see when I switch here, the articulation range updates to show the range for that selected cell in the matrix. And you'll notice that the current patch is displayed right below the matrix control over here. So depending on the selected cell, it'll show us the information. So let's look at setting up a key switch for the horizontal axis, meaning across, and that's called the x-axis. And the key switches are going to be labeled in blue here. So let's go over here and click and go key switch. And by default, it's added C and C sharp. But the problem is I don't have a controller big enough. My lowest note is that. So I want to bring it up an octave. Let me double click there and type in C2. And it's automatically moved them up. 
so I can switch now using key switches. And let's say to keep things simple, I want to have those key switches on the white notes. So I'm going to change this one. I'm going to double click there and type in D2. So now I have C and D and I can play and use those to switch articulations. And now let's try dragging the matrix open vertically and we'll add some more patches this way. And they don't even have to be from the same instrument. You probably would want them to be, but they don't have to be. And just to demonstrate, let me move to brass here, and I'll take a woodwind staccato instrument here, and woodwind sustained over here. So again, I can just click on them to play them. And we can assign a key switch over here to switch between them, or we can use a controller. So for example, if I want to use my mod wheel, I can go to CC1, and now as I move my mod wheel, I can switch between them. And you'll see it move here and change cells. And I can even sustain notes and then switch cells. And that works beautifully. So I can switch in this particular setup. I can switch vertically by using the mod wheel. And you can switch or adjust the range here where you want the split point to be. And if you have multiple cells, you can have multiple zones here. And you just click and drag to adjust the range. And I can switch horizontally with my key switches. Same thing here. So to recap real quickly, we have patches, which are the smallest unit, each articulation unit, and those are loaded into cells within a matrix that's used to combine and manage multiple patches. And we have a two-dimensional array, horizontal and vertically, and we have matrices that are stored and recalled here, and we can have multiple matrices in one preset, which are stored and recalled there. And once we establish some cells within the matrix, they can be called up in various ways. In this case, the x-axis, the horizontal axis, is being triggered via key switches, and the vertical or y-axis by mod wheel, but there are other ways. And that's it. I'm going to end off here, and we'll continue with more in the next video.